Santa knows where all the best toys are, and this December, many of the hottest smartphones are just a penny with service at Appalachian Wireless. Stop by your local Appalachian Wireless to check out all of the great smartphone deals that consistently top the nice lists. Oh, oh, this Christmas is truly going to be bigger and better than ever. Better service, bigger savings, that is. Ho, 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 ho. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Kentucky Route 550 in Knott County is closed indefinitely due to a potential mine blowout between the Mousy and Lackey community. The Kentucky Transportation Cabinet Highway District 12 was notified about 8 o'clock last night of water coming from three different areas along a stretch of Kentucky Route 550. The road was immediately closed and still remains closed to traffic until further notice. According to the Division of Mine Reclamation and Enforcement, the water is coming from a mining operation that has ceased activity but still has an active permit. The Division of Mine Reclamation and Enforcement will cite that coal operator and it will be that company's responsibility to abate or fix this situation. Even though the small waterfall beside me doesn't look like much, officials tell me it has dangerous consequences. There are hundreds of mine shafts in this mountain and millions of tons of water under here and all it would take would be a wall collapse or a roof collapse or some incident underground to take these little spigots of water that are coming out now and just blow out the side of the mountain. One family was evacuated from their home due to safety concerns. At this time the American Red Cross is paying for their lodging. Detours will be signed in Hindman at the junction of Kentucky 160 and Kentucky 550 and in Lackey at the junction of Kentucky 7 and Kentucky 550. I know it's going to be an inconvenience for people during the holidays, but until mine reclamation and enforcement gives us assurance that there's no imminent threat, we cannot reopen the road. It just simply isn't safe to do so. At this time, barriers are in place and personnel will be stationed at each end of the closure around the clock. Reporting in Knott County for EKB News, I'm Shelby Steele.